A beloved art event was back this weekend in Brooklyn. Thousands of people checked out Gowanus Open Studios, which finally returned after being canceled last year due to COVID. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon reports. Paintings, sculptures, and installations. These pieces are just some of the art that was on display at Gowanus Open Studios. This is my second series and it's like 3D. Liza Dominguez is one of 400 artists who took part. For me, this is like the main, the main place where I can show my work. Because I'm not in a gallery. We can sell art for the people or make connections. The annual event in its 25th year is a weekend for artists from Gowanus, Brooklyn to display their craft to the community. The only catch, to participate, the artist has to be from or work in Gowanus. The vibrancy, the talent we have in this community is, is incredible. And every year, you know, we're kind of a draw for artists to come to this community, be a part of the community, and really create opportunities for each other. The art was featured at more than 100 locations throughout the neighborhood, so art lovers could drop in at their leisure and for free. Many, like Steve Pauly, even chose to show off their pieces in their homes. This is a granite. Uh, a slab of granite that I've scratched by hand um, with a diamond tip pencil. Polly has participated for three years and says he loves sharing his process. When you do this tour, you get to see like who's doing what, how they make it, where they're doing it, how they live with their art, and, and it's just a whole different experience. As for those who attend, they say it's a privilege to be around so much talent. And see like different types of art and see like how people are expressing themselves in different techniques. What they do is really beautiful and so sometimes when life gets you down, it just feels really good to surround yourself with that unbelievable beautiful thing. They say artists are entrepreneurs and need support now more than ever. In Gowanus, Brooklyn, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News.